So this is the follow-up video I was doing of uh, all the parts that I've installed into this Fantex Enthu Evolve X case. We're using the Asus Maximus 10 motherboard with the 8700K with the Kraken X72 cooler, 1080 Ti video card, and of course the Noctua fans that we swapped out for the Fantex fans that were in here. Uh, but let's talk for a minute about the memory that we have installed in here. Kind of tough to see with this, but this is the uh, Tactical Ballistics uh, 32 gig kit gaming memory with RGB. Uh, but I want to also want to talk a little bit about the software. There's software that you could get that you install to control the RGBs on that memory. And it is called Mod, actually. And if we look up here, look up here and see if we can pull that up. All right. So we'll just uh, hit mod up here, accept that, see if we can get mod to load. It gives you all the information about your RAM, each module here. It also gives you temperature ranges of all of your memory modules there. But the big thing is the LED controls here. And right now it's set to shift and it's set to like rainbow colors and that's kind of what it's doing now actually we just kind of got it moving around like that if that's what you're interested in and you can also set it to some different ones uh, i like stack stack's pretty cool let's do stack we'll keep it at rainbow and uh stack just does it like that it's pretty neat if you like rgbs there you go by the way, the tips, the plastic covers on these can be popped off and you can actually create and download um, 3D printer mods that you can create yourself to snap back into your, your memory there. Um, inside out. So it does something like that. Lots of different combinations, but, but let me tell you something. There's been a lot of people that's been talking about this mod uh, ballistic software to be a bit buggy. Um, and I would have to agree because as soon as I open up, the bad thing about this is once you close that out, it, it blanks out or freezes your RAM. So you can't really keep it going right unless it's open unless it's open so let me go back and open that again mod yes so here's what i'm experiencing here let's go back led control and now you can see it's going back so that must stay open all the time let's go to our cam software which controls the nzxt This controls the NZXT lights, which as you can see, I have set a certain way and it's rolling pretty good. As soon as cam opens, mod, which is for the memory, crashes. So they don't play nice together. And, and actually it'll freeze up, it should, but that'll just go away. It, it, it makes the mod program crash when you open up the cam software when and even if i try to open mod software again it'll still crash so a little something to think about luckily with the cam software um see that's okay that took a while luckily with the cam software which controls the nzxt lights um once you set it you can actually close that program out and it holds it in its own circuit memory there you don't have to worry about it so, so the mod software for the ballistics RGBs is a bit flaky. Uh, there's other members talking online about it, and I happen to kind of agree. I showed you there firsthand that uh, that's what's going on. And then, of course, you have the Aurora. Showed you guys this before. Everybody knows about it. 
the Aurora software where you can change all of the colors uh, on the case uh, and different ones and all. And that's, I had the case lighting and everything is synchronized with it. Uh, everybody, everyone really knows about that pretty much, but that's kind of what's going on there with the software for the RGBs. Um, pretty neat. If you like RGBs, man, the, uh, the Asus boards are the way to go. Uh, they're really nice boards, a bit more pricier, but well built, I would say. So I will say with this NZXT, uh, the NZXT cooler here is very impressive. The X72, as far as performance, uh, I have the 8700K in here, uh, and at 100% load, temps are not getting over 60C. They're about 58C under 100% load. That is really impressive. So here's actually what we're looking like on the other side, the back side of this uh, case here. And uh, as you can see, there are hardly no wires showing and this whole side has a glass panel on it also. It shows off the back side. So this is what's going to be showing up here. And just to show you what this is hiding, we'll pop this door open. And you can see the mess that is hiding and there's more down below that. But wow, I mean, what a difference that makes, you know, with that being shut and what it's going to show when the glass panel goes on there. Um, so yeah, that's a, a big, big plus. Um, when it comes to this case is uh, being able to put a glass side on this and hot and still have all your cable hiding back here like this. So um, I was able to tie all of the Noctua fans up into the hub here, which connects to the motherboard so they can all be controlled. Uh, I did have to add a little adapter there to, to get one to reach all the way around. This is an extra cable connector here for third-party uh, DRGB fans and lights. So just in case that's there ready for them. So yeah. All right, so here we go. Full LEDs going inside of the case here. Doesn't look bad. Kind of mellows things out a bit. You don't really see... The mod cables too much. This is kind of in the dark, but um, you know, this is the kind of effect you're going to get when you use this case along with um, the Asus Maximus X motherboard. Uh, it looks better in person than it does on camera, but not bad. So this is what happens when we put light to it. So now you can see that those cables show up a little bit better. And, um, but yeah, that's it. I mean, it was a really good build, a really good case to work with, good components. Hey, if you like RGBs, man, this is, this is the build for you. Uh, I really enjoy doing it. Had a lot of fun with it. Hey, this is an awesome build. Can't wait to see what my future builds look like. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.